Viewer discretion is advised. First, an ominous music plays. The picture fades into a featureless room, save for a pedestal that displays a pumpkin carved in the style of a traditional jack-o'-lantern. The camera slowly zooms towards it. The pumpkin's features suddenly glow yellow, and a stock effect of a woman screaming is heard in the background. A title screen is overlaid, reading All a Ween About Halloween by Sam Hain. The text is stylized to appear as if it is dripping blood. The pumpkin moves upward, and it is revealed to be the head of 6750-1. It screams with its arms outstretched. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Good evening, ghouls and ghosts. I am your horrible host and certified boogeyman, Sam Hain. And tonight, we're talking about Halloween, everyone. Yes, folks, there's a lot of information going around about the season these days. Stories of electric razors and candy apples, men with hooked car doors for hands, and even reports of devil-worshipping cultists on the prowl to eat your pets. Well, it's all true. Halloween's a dangerous holiday, and if you don't buy my tape, you'll die and go to hell. Suddenly, sounds of moaning and intermittent screams for help are heard, followed by a special effect of a lightning striking the background. Entities resembling traditional ghosts fly across the screen. Stock sound effect of a lightning is played, and Sam Hain cackles evilly. I present you, Grandpa! The walls of the room fall, revealing a large cemetery at night. An old man is propped up on a stake in the middle. Dozens of ghost entities are floating around the area, flying through the sky and waving their arms. Sam Hain brandishes a match and lights the old man on fire. The man screams in agony, then slowly dies down. Now that's what I call a fiery start. Now, I know you're curious, my viewer, and this season, for only three witching hour sacrifices of any animal or human in the name of Sam Hain, you can receive a VHS copy of Halloween about Halloween, complete with glow-in-the-dark slipcase and a commemorative plate of my face. It pauses, then slowly paces towards the camera while maintaining eye contact. Remember, I know where you live. Don't make it where you die. It then takes out a match and lights itself on fire. Its laugh echoes as the camera cuts to black. Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today, we bring you SCP Foundation's safe class object, SCP-6750. SCP-6750, also known as Halloween about Halloween, presented by Sam Hain, designates six advertisements and public service announcements that aired between 1989 and 1991 throughout the United States, specifically targeted at suburban and rural communities. The main subject matter of all 6750 instances was the holiday of Halloween, as well as general information regarding the holiday. While a common theme within 6750 is Halloween, the majority of broadcasts are nonsensical in messaging and overall tone. Instances averaged around one minute in length. Details regarding 6750's exact production and origin remain unknown. Viewing of 6750 instances causes a feeling of intense fear in viewers. SCP-6750 broadcasts are presented by SCP-6750-1, a humanoid entity wearing clothing resembling contemporary depictions of scarecrows, including a sackcloth cloak, gloves, and a shirt adorned with a human ribcage. SCP-6750-1's head is a large pumpkin, carved to resemble a grinning jack-o'-lantern. 6750-1 identifies itself as Sam Hain within its advertisements. The following are the transcripts of the tape by researcher Dr. Eric Trenton. The camera slowly fades into a still frame of a jack-o'-lantern is seen, overlaid with text reading, Scary History of Halloween. The howling of a wolf is heard. Sam Hain stands in front of numerous makeshift cardboard representations of 18th century townhouses, arranged like a replica of a village. The houses are poorly constructed and visibly held together by duct tape, with details drawn on their surfaces using markers and crayons. Halloween was invented by Scottish cobbler Eugene H. Oween in 1862 when he realized he could steal more efficiently if he had an excuse to leave the house in a disguise. Oween's initial concept for the holiday had it occurring at the end of every week. Now, that's what I call scary, folks. 
Look, there's Eugene now. A man wearing a prop beard and burlap sack walks into frame. He is visibly distressed. Hi there, Eugene. It's late at night and also Halloween, so that must mean you're stealing again. Ain't that right, Eugene, you naughty little man? Please, I'm begging you. I have a family. My name is Silence. Sam Haynes slaps the man before he can continue. Then, hard cuts to Sam Haynes standing in front of a crowd of pumpkin-headed villager entities who surround a wooden stake, which the man portraying Eugene is now tied to. He screams as a villager brandishing a lit torch sets fire to the stake. The man burns and struggles futilely on the stake, and dies down eventually. Ah, brings a tear to my eyes to see this tradition lives on. You know, human sacrifice was a big part of Halloween in the 1800s. Look, a public burning. How festive. So, folks, do your part in keeping the tradition alive, won't you? The fire extinguishes. The pumpkin-headed crowd swarms the stake and remove the man's charred corpse. They then pick and tear at the cadaver. As the next segment starts, a still frame of an ordinary pumpkin patch is seen, with overlaid text reading, Scary Pumpkin Carving. Sam Haynes stands in front of a pumpkin patch at night. Greetings, freakish folks. Sam Hain here at Sam Hain's Pumpkin Patch. Let's carve up some pumpkins, shall we? Instead of pumpkins, there are human heads of varying size, coloration, and shape, each segmented at the upper neck and completely devoid of facial features or hair. Sam Hain slowly bends down and grips the vine connected to a pale, slightly larger head. The head thrashes around and screams in a muffled voice. Sam Hain jumps and the head detaches from the vine. The tape then cuts to Sam Hain inside a kitchen. It places the head on the table. And now, it's carving time. Sam Hain brandishes a large knife and begins carving a typical jack-o'-lantern face into the head, starting with the eyes. As it finishes carving the shape of an open mouth, the head screams in agony, startling Sam Hain, who jolts as a result, makes a mistake in his carving process. You little, ugly, annoying dirtbag! You ruined my mood. My night! My Halloween! Sam Hain grabs the head and throws it to the ground, smashing it upon impact. The camera cuts. The segment begins with the sound of thunder in the distance. A still frame of Area 179 researcher Eric Trenton's house is displayed with overlaid text reading, Scary Survival Tips. Sam Hain casually walks into frame. Now, as you know, making a high-quality show can cost a lot, especially a big segment like this one. So now, I'm going to show you all how we boogeymen collect one of our many forms of currency, fear. In the spirit of education, I'm going to let you know exactly what you can do if a scary Halloween monster is targeting you or your family. Unfortunately, there isn't much. Samhain presses itself against the side of the house, next to a window. Then, its legs stretch, gaining height until its torso is level with the house's second-story window. The same occurs to its fingers, which contort thin and extend outwards. They maneuver themselves into the crevices of the window screen, removing it. Sam Hain pushes up the glass window and enters. The camera cuts to an overhead view of Dr. Trenton's wife, Alicia, sleeping in her bed. Her husband is absent. SCP-6750-1 leans into frame. It crouches due to the length of its legs, yet still reaches the ceiling. What differentiates boogeymen from ordinary monsters is atmosphere. An ordinary creature will kill in a way quickest and most advantageous for it. That's boring, and no one wants that. They tend to appreciate the scare, the adrenaline, the fear. It just tastes better. Its arm stretches outward and extends over and around Alicia. It taps her on the forehead. She jumps awake, batting the arm out of the way. She becomes frantic as she notices the size of Sam Hain, leaps from the bed, screaming. Alicia runs out of the room as Sam Hain gives chase. It contorts its body, using the walls to brace its lengthy limbs as it maneuvers its newly extended body. Trenton's child, Elise, emerges from her room and immediately runs back in, slamming the door shut. Sam Hain takes notice of this and moves towards the door. If you have children, use them as a diversion. Nine boogeymen out of ten will go for a child over a plain Jane adult. After all, 
kids are a lot easier to traumatize. The tape cuts to Elisa's room. The girl is hiding underneath the covers on her bed. A still shot of the door is held for several seconds. Sam Hain is heard laughing, but the sound slowly trails out. Sam Hain's hand extends underneath the door. It trails up to the doorknob and turns it open. Elise looks out, watching from underneath the blanket. The door fully opens, revealing an empty hallway. <laughs> Sam Hain's laughter is then heard from underneath Elise's bed. The entity slowly rises from below until its face is level with the girl's. Flies, grubs, and worms are seen crawling out of the entity's head. Elise stares at the creature, petrified, breathing heavily as tears well in her eyes. Buy. My. Tape. Elise screams and scrambles out of the room. Sam Hain laughs and turns towards the camera. Well, I've tried everything. Clearly, these folks don't want to buy my tape. But I might be able to think of someone who does! Sam Hain removes the pumpkin from its shoulders, revealing the head of Dr. Eric Trenton underneath with a twisted smile. You! Boo! <laughs> the head explodes, smearing the camera and surrounding the area with blood and viscera. The headless body slumps to the ground as Alicia walks into the room. The camera cuts to black as she screams. <laughs> 